Hello, I'm going to share with you the accordion box that I just made. And the tutorial for this can be found on Scrapbookers of Kendra Craft Creations Facebook page. The title of the tutorial is called The Large Accordion Box. There are also some written instructions that also include a 4x6 accordion box. This particular box is 5 inches tall and the lid is approximately 5 and an eighth inches wide and you can use 6x6 pads to cover and decorate the box which is really fun and I used a pad that had 36 papers but single sided and I used all I think but maybe three but I did add uh, a few pieces of cardstock and a couple pieces of paper from a different paper collection. And um, uh, everything on in this box and on it is from my stash. So there's no particular collection, nothing's new. It's just stuff that I had on hand. And that's the neat little thing about this box is you can use you know leftovers or what you have on hand to create it it's because it's tiny and it's cute um, so I will just hold this up so you can get a better view of the embellishments on here and I won't go through each one because you know like I said there's just stuff from my stash but I will you know maybe mention a few how to's and tips um, I had originally put this spider web on because I wanted the theme on this side to have spiders because I was really wanting to dangle this little um, charm uh, from the lid and so <clears throat> excuse me and um, when I added these rosettes it just was really heavy and bold and my spider web was getting lost so I added some Wink of Stella to kind of pull that out and and then I added I found this on a sticker sheet and so I put that there to kind of just balance the weight of these items. Um, the little charm I mentioned what I did was I I punched a hole with my crop a dial fairly close I mean not super close to the edge but enough that, that jump, ring, jump ring would fit through and dangle and just to reinforce in between the hole and the edge of the box I added some glossy accents and let it dry just to just to make that hard and reinforce that hole in case it did get catch on anything to get pulled it won't rip the paper this box is just is just um, it's just cardboard and paper so um, anyway so I did that and then I just added a couple more rings and the charm sorry I'm losing my voice a little bit all of a sudden um, this was a little journaling card from the paper collection and I used uh, some distressed stickles in a black color. I can't remember the actual name of the color, but that was one of my favorite things about the paper pad because I'd never heard this little chant before, this little saying on it, and I, I've been saying it all day because it I don't know, just tickled my fancy, I guess. It says spooky, spooky, creepy, creepy. Halloween is very icky. <laughs> so anyway, I, I don't know why that just, it, it just tickles my funny bone, but it it was just fun. And, and on this braided trim, I stapled the edges and then frayed, or I should say I stapled here and here and then just sprayed these edges and uh, so that's what I did on that side and then on the other side <clears throat> sorry excuse me I'm losing my voice all of a sudden um, yeah just various embellishments but I did want to mention these little cards uh, these little cards I got at Walmart and you can't just well I don't know if you can but I didn't see where you could just buy a little deck of cards, but um, I bought a bag of little trinkets and toys, you know, the kind that you buy at Halloween that you're going to give to trick-or-treaters instead of candy. Um, that's that's where these came from, and 
and they were wrapped in plastic and it's a complete 52 um, card set with two jokers. And, I mean, you could actually play with it if your hands were tiny enough and they're just so cute. And so I just thought I'd mention that in case, in case you like them and you, you know, maybe, maybe this Halloween they'll have some more, you know, but, but that's where I got those. And so I'll show you, I'll open this up and show you why it's called an accordion box. So here's the, the binding. So all the pages are bound together with this accordion strip. And I'm sure you've, for experienced crafters, I'm sure you've made these before for hinges and whatever. And the nice thing about this uh, tutorial is there's so many options because uh, at the end here, so you, when you make your accordion strip, you have an extra, an extra flap here, which I have, I have glued down because that that's the end of my pages. I didn't need any more, so I glued mine down. But if you if you made your box wide enough, or maybe your your pages don't have as much dimension on them as mine do, you know, because I did make my box a little wider. Um, you could add, you could add another accordion strip and add more pages, or you could just trim off a couple of the accordion, accordion uh, folds, and and only do like three or four pages, and then you really could add some you know, some tags and stuff as well as the accordion pages. So you have lots of options. Um, also on the options here, uh, the, the uh, written instructions give you options on whether to do shorter pages from here to here so that you can add, have a half inch space in your box to add tabs, or you can make taller pages and then for your, to get your inserts out, you could notch your pages with a punch or something and then be able to pull out your inserts that way. So I chose to do the shorter pages and add tabs. Um, I did not know I, if I had any particular tabs in my stash, but I figured I could just come up with something. And so some of them I did have tabs, and so some of them I just kind of came up with my own thing. And so, and then the other neat thing about this is, is you could, you know, you could make this accordion fit in an album by just gluing down this back page. And then, you know, if you had like some string behind where you could tie it closed and then when you undo the string, you could just pull your recording pages out. So you can do that too. That's fun. Um, on the pages, I did not decorate this front one because this accordion box wants to push out and I didn't want it to rub on the box, even though the box is lined with paper. Um, so I'll show you the fronts here and some of the inserts. So this insert here, I added a paper clip embellishment. And on the back, that's just a, a drilling card that I cut into a square. And this this one here, I just used some dimensional stickers. And these little dimensional stickers here, I, there was three of them. I think they were supposed to go on here, you know, like that, you know, <laughs> for the inside of the banners. But I just chose to glue these two back to back and make it a tab pull. And these are just some cute dimensional stickers. Oh, and I should, I forgot to mention that on the side of my box here, on my lid, um, this is where I had the ends of the trim meet up. And so to kind of camouflage that, I added that little, little rat. I'm assuming it's a rat because it's Halloween, but I guess it could be a mouse, but it looks like a rat to me. Okay. Um, and then this, this is the only other insert where I added the, 
paper clip because it was starting to get full and another little journaling card that I cut to a square on the back and this was just from a sticker sheet and so from a completely different sticker sheet I added the Halloween stickers to it so it says tricks and treats so I cut those to fit on those tabs so this this ended up being one of my favorite pages because this was pretty neutral um, I ended up finding this little green tab that says cost costume cutie and um, so costume cutie and uh, so I wanted to bring out the color and so I had this extra strip from cutting the pages and I wanted to make a pocket but I wanted this proportion just like this you know so you'd have enough color here to match the, the tab but it made too deep of a pocket for my little cards so what I did is I made it more of a tuck spot and I put in a false bottom in other words I glued I glued half the pocket on the bottom so um, so half of it's glued down and so you only have this half that's a pocket so it makes it more of a tuck spot really so but that that leaves it, my cards able to show and this is just one of the little journaling cards that I backed with some orange paper and this is one of those now you can really see one of those little cards that I didn't attach I just tucked it in and this is one of the Joker cards and these are waxed cards just like regular playing cards so like I said you could play with them if you want and so anyway that's my cute little that's my cute little tuck pocket and on these on this tab here I had this this sticker and I just traced it on paper and cut it out for the other side and this one just very simple tab I just made a little rectangle and did a small corner punch on the edges here and did one on the other side and glued it back to back so very simple tab you don't have to have anything fancy and if I find some cute little words word strips I will put them on there and this one I just um, took a three quarter inch punch and punched an orange circle out of cardstock and this one was just using some of the decorative paper and I kind of made it so that it's centered right there to make it look kind of like a flower <laughs> and as I was going through and decorating the book or the uh, accordion um, I found this little round Halloween sticker that fit perfectly on there so that was lucky and so I've already explained the back here but um, I just I just added a, a journaling card here and on the back of this page um, this was kind of a happy accident because I cut this side this paper too short I was gonna have it just be plain like this but I cut it too short because I didn't look at the ruler right or the, the trimmer right and so instead of chucking the whole thing I just added a strip of paper here and a little black strip and then the journaling card and then I found these cute little spiders with crystals on them and I think that's one more one more decorated on the back and this is just one of those little journaling cards from the 6x6 pad that I I glued on I didn't I didn't make it a tuck spot because you got all this and I got some rough stuff on this other side here so but you got you know six pages so six six pictures and and then you can put pages you can put pictures on some of these outside pages too so there's there's plenty of room for a few photos here and um so that's my uh, little accordion box and and I say little because it's little but um, the title of it is called the large accordion box when you go to look for it on scrapbookers of country craft creations so 
anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope you enjoyed my project. So thanks. Goodbye.